Google just announced that they're working on their chat GPT competitor called Bard. And I got a feeling it's going to be coming to the Google Pixel lineup of devices as an exclusive feature. Now, in the past couple months, since ChatGPT has become more widely known about and used, it seems like AI is the new hotness that everyone keeps talking about. And recently, Google unveiled their flavor of it in the form of Bard. Now, I'm not gonna get into the specifics or the details of it, but Google is looking to integrate Bard into their search functionality. And today I want to tell you why Bard is likely going to be coming to the next Pixel line of devices, possibly as a Pixel exclusive feature. Now, since the launch of the Google Pixel 6, Google has focused the Pixel line of devices as giving users a unique and smarter smartphone experience. I would even say that Google has decided to pivot and move more towards utilizing software as a delineating factor instead of things such as device performance or even really camera performance since a lot of cell phones are getting really, really good cameras. Now, this is evident all over the Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 lineup of devices, whether it be things like on-device voice dictation, on-device real-time subtitles, which are great for watching content without subtitles in a noisy place, or even the way Google Assistant just works with routines and is just kind of integrated into the overall smartphone experience. It goes without saying that Google is trying to leverage machine learning and artificial intelligence to give smartphone users a better and more powerful experience. And it seems like the next frontier of this is AI powered chat bots that allow us to give a very specific set of commands and then let this robot AI machine learning neural network, whatever hype word you want to call it, do some of the work for us. Now, if Google is able to create a competent competitor for chat GPT, it's likely that we're going to see this software get brought into Google search and the best devices for searching things on the internet are Google Pixels. And Google has gone out of their way with the Tensor's chipset to leverage hardware specifically for machine learning and AI. And it's not difficult for us to consider that if Google is placing an emphasis on machine learning and AI and chatbots, that they will leverage more AI and more machine learning and more of these smart features into the next line of Google Pixel devices. Now, it's not hard for us to speculate that we could see the Pixel line of devices getting something that utilizes these tensor cores and this neural network to give us a assistant in Google Assistant that's more conversational or even allows us to give a set of more complex commands. And it would make sense that Google brings it to the Pixel line of devices first because Google is trying to leverage hardware and giving users a smarter smartphone experience as kind of their unique selling point. Now, personally, I would love to have some type of AI powered like chat bot feedback thing baked into my phone or at least something that has the same kind of responsiveness as the Google uh, search functionality that we get on Pixel. The fact that I don't have to have great internet connection to utilize some of the on-device uh, voice dictation and AI features with Pixel is great. And adding something like ChatGPT or Bard to the Google Pixel line of devices would be a great way for Google to grab mainstream media attention with its AI-powered robot and give it to users in a handset and ultimately bake it into the whole Google Pixel experience. But what do you guys want to know? And do you think that having something like Google Bard, Chat, GPT, etc., baked into the Pixel experience, do you think that would be enough of a unique selling point to convince more people to switch to Google Pixels? I, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I'm hopeful for the future. And it seems like that next frontier of this AI powered, ugh.